Hey everybody, it's Uruj and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I have no idea what this video is. I haven't made a video in a bit. Um, I was busy with exams in school, but now I'm done. I'm on summer break. I am chilling and I am making a fun kind of video. I don't even know what exactly I'm doing, but actually I do. <laughs> what? In this video, I'm going to be basically talking about how I learned to get out of my comfort zone and how I can probably, maybe, help you guys maybe you know get out of your comfort zone too wow i can't talk today i haven't talked to a camera in a long time so yeah i have no notes for this video because i just came up with the topic right now <laughs> and i was like i hate didn't record a video else. let me just like press record and make one you know you know my words so i'm actually just gonna be doodling while i talk because i feel like i might get bored because again i don't have uh, any points so yeah, I bought this um, from, what do you call it, Dollarama by the way, it's really cute, I really like it, <laughs> the focus on this thing, anyways, so getting out of my comfort zone, where do I start? <laughs> um, as a kid, I was very, very, very shy, um, and by shy, I mean like, I was that kid that was like on the corner of the room, would not speak a word i would only speak a sentence or a word if i was spoken to i wouldn't i wouldn't you know get out of my way to go say something to someone else it's kind of bad because i wouldn't talk but growth is important because i went i started from being a shy little kid well tall little kid to a less shy tall girl woman this is so bad okay but basically i was always very very shy all throughout my childhood all throughout high school especially high school i think what happened was that i experienced a lot of social anxiety as a not even a, not as a kid i wasn't too scared as a kid i didn't realize what i was feeling i was just shy um but as i got older and I started getting insecure you know going through your teen phase or whatever um, I also started to like, I guess it was social anxiety was stopping me from doing a lot of things. But I have not fully overcome my social anxiety because I still feel it sometimes, but I've gotten better at tackling it, I guess. Is that the correct term? I don't know. But I feel like ever since the pandemic, I got a lot of time to just sit down self reflect and like figure out what was wrong with my life and me not wrong maybe that's not the right word <laughs> um but like what i wasn't happy with and i feel like i wasn't happy with how i was always quiet because i would get told all the time you're so quiet why don't you say more or blah 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 honestly sometimes it was because i didn't have anything to say but other times it was also because I was too shy and scared to say anything so my, that was kind of like my comfort zone I would always stay in that tiny little bubble not speak a word just like chill be myself be shy be myself is it really myself no it wasn't because when I would come home I'd be like this blabbing my mouth off um, but what what I think what helped me was I actually started a YouTube channel um, and it was actually on The Sims. For those of you watching who know that, you're OG. You're the OG. Is that even the right term? I don't know. I feel like I'm a Gen Z, but I also don't feel like I don't. I use the terms wrong. I don't know what's happening. You guys are the OG. Hopefully, I'm saying that right. Okay. <laughs> but on that YouTube channel, I actually started talking more. I started posting videos where I would actually use my voice and like talk which I didn't do at school, mind you. Um, but I even started live streaming and honestly, live streaming is so much fun. But that helped me a lot because I got to talk with people in real time and I got to respond and react in real time. And it helped me a lot with my confidence in speaking and just talking. And I feel like that's why I was, I was just like a shy kid and I just was scared to speak or say things but I found my kind of people I guess and it was just easier for me to slowly start speaking, start talking, being less shy. Um, then I felt like ever since the pandemic I just, 
I realized that I would I, a lot of the times my social anxiety and me being quiet would stop me from doing things I wanted to do like going out and doing stuff and I know it's like super difficult because I was there I was like I was always I was like at a point where I was just like I didn't want to change I was good with where I was but again that was my comfort zone um, but I also didn't like how certain things were in my life and I was like how am I gonna change it the only way I can change it is if I change myself and work on myself so I was literally doing that um, I don't really know exactly what caused me to like just get out of my comfort zone but I feel like you know that quote where people say like fake it till you make it I think that actually had a lot to do with with me being where I am now because honestly you get to a point where you keep doing it and it just feels like natural to you but that was one thing one thing was fake it till you make it and you will slowly become the person that you want to be or you're pretending to be <laughs> I guess but another thing was I also realized that I cared a lot about other people's opinions and a, a lot I cared a lot about so many things that really didn't matter I, I kind of just got this I don't care mentality and it's honestly helped me so much I used to be scared about like making mistakes or whatever um, and when I was speaking or like sounding dumb but honestly I've come to a point where if I do I'm just human I make mistakes everybody makes mistakes everybody makes mistakes everybody has those no stop me okay no no um, <laughs> I'm just looking at myself and I'm like yikes what is this no but uh, I felt like I got to a point where I was like if I did do anything dumb I would just laugh it off and I still do that to this day sometimes I'm like I do some pretty dumb stuff but it's helping me again I'm getting out of my comfort zone but like I just laugh it off at this point because I don't care I really don't care what other people think of me and I really I they don't they don't think of me as much as I think they're thinking of me because they're they are too they, most of the time my words most of the time people are actually thinking about themselves not about you you think they're thinking about you but actually they probably don't even care that much <laughs> they really don't um so again that helped me to like feel less anxious and like stop worrying because I started to not care about what other people thought and I just started acting how I wanted to be I started doing things out of my comfort zone going out or just like like doing things I would never do because I was so anxious before and I've become much better because now I can talk to people I was scared to do that before I wouldn't do anything for myself before I'd always get someone to do it for me oh my god I had like I would make my friend in high school do the talking for me and I was like I was I just had to ask a question to my teacher. I know how scary it was and it really was scary back then But like again, it's it's a process. I wasn't I know back then I probably wasn't going to improve right away But it's like the amount of self-reflecting plus realizing What I wanted for myself helped me help me it just like boosted me I guess to like actually take charge and do my own asking question do my own asking of questions English but yeah getting out of your comfort zone is very very scary um, but again if you want to slowly get out of your comfort zone you have to take the chances make the changes and just just do it like Nike says it's Nike right it should be Nike otherwise it's Nike yeah I know it's Nike okay um, I told myself I was gonna be writing in this. I think I got too caught up in my emotions and my talk that I totally forgot that I was gonna do. Anyways, but just talking about where how I started to where I am now just makes me so proud of myself. Um, and also reminds me of all the good times I actually did have. And also reminded me of all the good times that I wasted spending too much time thinking about stuff that didn't matter. <laughs> so yeah your comfort zone is called your comfort zone for a reason your comfort zone tells you what you, things that you're comfortable with but it's not always bad to get a little uncomfortable because that's how you grow <laughs> I sound like some like what's that philosopher philosopher psychologist it's one of the two 
I'm not mixing them up. I just don't know which one I sound more like. <laughs> okay, again, this was like a spur of the moment kind of video, but I'm glad I made it because I'm gonna look back at this and like just see how far I'm com I've come from here to like future me. Yeah, I'm excited for that. <laughs> I'm still very anxious. I still, I'm not to the fullest of who I can be, but I'm much better than I was before and I'm proud of that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below because I'd like to know what you are thinking and be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I loved it because I got to talk with you guys and <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I'll catch you guys in the next one then. Bye guys! <laughs>